Now that you have learned about the introduction, let's talk about what is Office 365. To learn about Office 365, let's just go to the Microsoft official page, FAQ, for business. Because we're learning about the business, not the home version of Office 365. So what is Office 365? Microsoft definition, Office 365 is an integrated experience of apps and services. Integrated experience of apps and services. Designed to help you pursue your passion and grow your business. Get apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. Updated monthly with the latest features, monthly with the latest features and security updates. The reason I'm, I'm kind of repeating this because that's kind of like important stuff right here. And then they use uh, cloud-based uh, email to reach customers. That's the cloud version of Outlook. And then they use like, you know, Teams for collaboration. And they use OneDrive just like a Dropbox and any other, uh, you know, cloud-based uh, saving. Um, like, you know, people have a lot of uh, iCloud and stuff like that. They have OneDrive for that. And, uh, of course, they have so many different type of applications that where they want you to visit the web website and, and they want you to learn about that. But let me give you a different explanation. Now, I'm going to give you a real world explanation how I want to train our members because they're coming from uh, a technical background, meaning they want to become a technician. So I'm going to give you a little history to to give you the more uh, better understanding of this product. So since you're learning as a help desk and technician uh, and learning about the Office 365 skills, you should know a little bit background of how uh, we used to work in companies when there was no Office 365 type of service available to us. So let's just make a scenario right here. Let's consider we are working in this company and let's say this is the company right here. And this company have few offices. These are let's say offices right here. I'm going to just create a, my bad drawing right here. And these are the offices right here. Then we used to have a domain controller. This is Active Directory. All these machines were connected to it. Now, if you don't know these terms, please make, make sure you take our other courses that are available in this platform. Then let's say, for example, these people decided that we need email access. We need to do email. We need to do things. So Microsoft also had a really powerful, uh, you know, um, and still have it exchange server that's what we call it so you have a, a domain controller server and everything somebody's managing that then we have a dom uh, exchange server right here so i'm going to call this es okay so this is es and then after that another uh, demand came in from these people that we need files file server so and a system administrator then uh, added a new server right here now consider this either this could be a physical server or a virtual server still somebody is managing it internally so I'm just going to call this F right here, okay? And similarly, some other thing like SharePoint, uh, you know, more application got added and, of course, more resources uh, got added into, the sys into this physical environment. I mean, this is the area, whether you call it virtual or physical, I mean, somebody's managing it right here. Of course, this is a lot of work. Somebody has to manage all these things, and especially this guy right here, Exchange Server, was a pain in the dash because nobody... Uh, could just you know go for sysadmin type of skills and then they will know about exchange too at the same time it will take a lot of time for someone to learn this so they even had started to you know started to hire people just for exchange I mean there were like uh, literally people will pay like eighty thousand seventy thousand dollars just to hire an exchange administrator that's still available out there but that's totally almost going away because now what we have I mean office 365 right so long story short um, you can see the pain. Microsoft will also be, you know, kind of like supporting these customers because they're now installing the servers here and things were not working well with the Outlook client here. So somebody has to come over here, install a client and then do all these kind of things. So a lot of technical work were, uh, um, requirements were there. So even small businesses struggle, big businesses, of course, Every, everybody was working, but still it was a, it was a work to do. So now I'm going to take you back. Let's remove all of these servers and let's just keep the, okay, I'm going to keep just one server. That's the, the Active Directory. We can talk about that later on. But let's say we have these, uh, this is a small company and they have uh, one, two, three, four, five people. Now, would they need an Active Directory right here? I'm going to remove that as well. 
they won't need Active Directory. Why would they need Active Directory? Because there's only five or six computers. Uh, even a CEO can manage them. I mean, the, these computers themselves, or maybe they'll hire just one person doing multiple things. But they're not going to use Active Directory, right? So Microsoft came out with this really nice, uh, you know, um, way of dealing with this type of uh, issues. Now Microsoft is like, okay, there's a company. They have, let's say, four people. Now, why should we give or why should we market about buy our domain, buy our exchange server, buy our this, and then we have to manage all this stuff just for these four people? Why not we make this a different, why not we make a, a product that is online available and we can manage it and these people can just access it through the web browser? How cool will be that? Because they still want to use the Outlook, they still want to use the Word documents, they still want to save the data, but they 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 cannot hire these people right here. So Microsoft was like, okay, we're gonna create our own servers in their data centers. All these people have to do is to go to their web browser and connect to the Microsoft servers and let the Microsoft engineers take care of that stuff. So of course, is that just for small business? No. Even bigger businesses, universities and things like that, they even went for that because so many people found out that why we need to invest in exchange servers, file servers and all that kind of stuff that we will require a lot of technical skills. While Microsoft can do that by just getting into the browser and everything is the same. It's, I mean, it's, it's probably pretty powerful these days. Every machine comes with a lot of uh, CPU power, RAM and it's it's doable. It's, it's very much, uh, you know, um, uh, kind of like it just needed people to find out and it just blew and that's why people started going for you know microsoft office type 365 type of skills and now they add it into your description as a desktop support and help desktop support you need this that's why people when you go to the interview people ask you these questions you know do you know about office 365 so now whether a small business or a large business based on their plan when they log in through the web browser they have all the access to everything outlook onedrive word excel powerpoint and they are developing applications on almost monthly basis now the question is why do i need to learn about this stuff i know what is microsoft office 365 now i know what is the little bit of history but why is it what do i have to do this is kind of web version why can't people just go and do their thing and i don't think there's much going to be available for a technician well this is where people are mistaken microsoft is not coming and managing your your office here they they have developed it they're only managing the server the services behind uh you know this these options meaning if it's not available then yes microsoft will be responsible but they're not responsible for adding people for you for removing the license for troubleshooting emails tracking and things like that so consider this that people are thinking that everything is going to cloud and they may not be working in help desk your help desk job became even more in demand because of these things microsoft is not going to take over this type of job because that's not easy so you see they have provided an admin option for you so this is where a technician will come and have to learn all of these things just like active directory users groups uh you know uh, basically going to the more admin options finding out issues talking to microsoft through the ticketing system then coming back over here and working in exchange tracking the emails uh finding what is what is going on with the whole office um taking roles out and giving roles deleting users unblocking users uh, troubleshooting login issues in microsoft office 365 so there's a lot that a technician will be working on like i said before that you can even land a job in office 365 and you'll be only doing this in the company but our courses are not designed for just office 365 we are in, we are in connection with our help desk skills we're not just teaching about office 365 so then you can become a total microsoft engineer that is going to be a different course we're not teaching that right now this is all for help desk and inter-level positions right now so this is our definition of what is office 365 and i will see you in the different uh video in this course thank you